In this video, we will be adding some health parts to our monsters. Um, we will not be reducing the monster's health yet, um, because this video is dedicated to actually adding the health bars to this project. So I already created a um, tutorial for creating health bars, and there's no reason for me to record the same material twice. Um, so instead of showing you how to create a health bar here, um, I would suggest that you go to my health bar tutorial if you haven't completed it already. Um, and there is a link on the screen right here and in the description below um, if you're interested in adding health bars to your monsters. Um, so when you have completed that tutorial, you will have a um, complete project. So you can either create that uh, tutorial or, or follow that tutorial in another project and then import from the other project into this project or you can uh, just simply create uh, the functionality here in this project uh, that you already created. But I am going to show you how you can take um, the assets from um, the actual health bar project and import them into this tower defense project and use them for your monsters. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be taking um, the complete project from the health bar tutorial, showing you how to create the assets into an asset package and then import them here and add them to the monsters. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have the complete health bar project here. And this is also what you should have if you um, completed the health bar tutorial. Um, or you would have all this functionality already in, uh, in the tower defense tutorial if you implemented the health bar tutorial di directly into the tower defense. Um, however, I am going to show you how to take the um, property or the, take the prefabs from this project here and move them or copy them to the tower defense project. So if you already included everything um, into the tower defense project uh, because you created it in there, then you can skip this step. But this is for people that created a new project or already created this project earlier and wants to include this in uh, to our uh, tower defense game. So first of all, I will need to create an asset package. And I think I can do that here in under the asset uh, menu, click create and, oh, sorry, I mean export, sorry, because we're creating new assets here. So we need to export a package. <laughs> sorry, it's a long time since I've done this. So we, we want to export a package. And we don't want to export everything because the tower defense tutorial already have or the tower defense project already have some different sprites and stuff in it. And we only want to get the scripts and the prefabs. So basically we can go here and untick asset store tools. If we have that, you shouldn't have that though. Untick the fund and we don't need the, um, the scene either. We want the prefabs here. We'd like to include them. And we want all the scripts um, except the player. So we want the stat and the bar script. And then we don't want the sprites because we already have some sprites. So you should include the bar script, the canvas, the bar script here, and the stat here. Okay? Or not bar script, but bar prefab up here. Sorry. So when we have that selected, we make sure that dependencies are included. We click the export button and we can go to our um, desktop or wherever you want to put it. And we can call this one health bar package. Okay. So this is our health bar package and we simply just save this. And there we go. Now we have our health bar package. So when you have created your package, you need to close down the other project, the health bar project, and you need to open up your uh, tower defense project. And then you simply double click on the package, which I just did uh, outside the screen here. And then we'll see that we need to implement or import the bar prefab, the canvas prefab, and we will also import the bar script and the stat script. And then we just click the button behind these UI elements because I have some recording software running now, so it's blocking it. But you simply have to click this import button and then it imports everything. So now let's see inside scripts. We have a bar script now and we have a stat script. And inside the prefabs, we have a bar, as you can see, and we have a canvas here with some different ones. I'm actually not sure we're going to use these, but now I just important. We can always delete it if we don't need it. But we for sure need the bar script here. 
Okay, so now that is important, we can start adding it to the game. Um, actually, let's just delete the canvas here. We don't need it. So go to the prefab folder and delete the canvas. So the first thing we have to do is to add a monster to the game so we can add a health bar and adapt it to that monster. And then we can just copy paste that health bar to the rest. So if you go to prefabs, select my monsters and we can take the red monster and pull him in. So then we have the red monster in the game and we need to give him a health bar. First of all, he needs a canvas because remember all UI elements needs a canvas to be rendered. So we can actually just add a canvas by right clicking on the red monster, saying UI and then selecting canvas. So we can call this one health bar canvas. So this is our health bar canvas. When we have not heal, <laughs> sorry, health. There we go. So this is our health bar canvas. When we've done that, we can go to prefabs and find the bar here. And this bar simply needs to be dragged in here as a child object of the health canvas here. Okay, so right now, this bar here, well, it might not even be visible or it is visible on your screen, of course, because we need to change something, but it's way too large and it's not positioned right. So our canvas here, is a screen space overlay, which means every single single uh, UI element is just placed somewhere on the screen. But our monsters will be moving around in our game world. And because they're moving around, well, we would need to make sure that the health bar follows them around on the screen. So if it if if we have screen space overlay, it's going to be pretty hard for us to place them correctly according to the monster's position. So instead of having the render mode set to screen space overlay, We'll simply select that and make it into a world space. So when you put it as a world space, it is placed correctly in the game world. So we can make it follow the monster around here. But when you put it as world space, it disappears, right? And that's because it's not placed correctly. Before we start moving it, I would like to change some things. First of all, um, if we select it, you'll see it has an icon here. The icon is the white square, and that's where we had this, this heart here in the health bar tutorial. We had that heart placed here, so we can see this was a um, health bar, and the other one was a shield bar, and so on. So we simply have to delete this icon because we don't need it anymore. Next up, um, we will have to give it some color, right? So first of all, let's, let's select the bar here. And basically, we don't need an image on this bar. So we can simply just remove the image because we don't need that uh, background. We only need two colors because this bar is going to be way simpler. So just uh, remove the image and then go to the mask. And on the mask, we will have to select a health bar um, sprite. So click the little radio button and write health. And then select that one called health bar one. And the color on this bar is going to be black. So just make it totally black here. And if we take the mask and drag it up here, so it's a little larger. Maybe so. It may, maybe so. It takes up maybe the whole space. I don't know. Ah, almost the whole space. Maybe yeah, we can just drag it out here, so it takes the whole space. Then we can always change it later if we don't like uh, the way it looks. So now the mask has the same size as the bar that contains it. Then we have the content and the content. Well, the content also needs a uh, mask or a sprite. So select radio button and write health and select health bar one. When you've done that, you can select this color here and then we'll need to put it, give it a red color. I'm going to go with this one and then take the content maybe and drag it out so it takes up more space on the bar so it looks like a health bar and you can just adjust this exactly as you want it how much black space do you want in the background how much color you want in the middle and so on so yeah it's simply just like adjusting it until it's it fits your needs then the value text we don't need the text we're not going to be able to read it because these are going to be so small these health bars so now that we have the health bar, well, if we take it, if we select it here, 
and select this tool to the far left and move it around you'll see that well it can it covers the whole screen and our screen is located in the top bottom corner top button yeah the left bottom corner here and you can see this is that this little square here maybe it's hard to see in the video this little white square is the whole screen and this large one here is our um, health bar so it's way too large so we need to select the canvas and because everything here is child objects of the canvas if we scale down the canvas all these sizes will follow so select the health bar canvas and give it 0 0.005 as high uh, x 0 0.005 as um, y as well and we need to find it so the easiest way to find this would be to select it over here and when you have selected it you can simply mouse over anywhere on your um, selected and mouse over anywhere in the scene and press F and then it's going to find it and zoom in but we know it's there and we need to move it let's see all the way up here so drag it up there and there we go now we can see it's on on the screen here we can see it okay so yeah so now it's on the screen but you can see the canvas is way larger than the actual con the stuff it contains so we can simply just select the canvas health bar canvas select this tool to the right and then we can simply just make it a little smaller so the canvas fits the size of its content better besides that we need to select the right anchor points so select the bar select the anchor point here and select the center and the same goes for the mask if it doesn't follow it does okay. so now we can make the what's it called health bar a little smaller the canvas a little smaller then maybe move the health bar into the center of it so it just fills it out like this then select the canvas and then place it on top of the monster where you want it so as high as you want it I think this looks fine when the monster will move through the level it's easy to see the, the health bar and we should be able to yeah see the bar going up and down seeing how much health it actually has right yes okay so you as said you can just move this as you wanted and place it as one and scale it as you wanted um, actually I think maybe I would like to make it a little shorter so I'm going to select my bar here and do like this and the mask as well oh yeah of course the mask is masking it so we need to do like so we actually need to select the mask here instead and then maybe make it a little taller and take the content and make it a little taller as well yeah I don't know if that looks better anyway yeah I guess I'm going to go with this so now we have a health bar canvas take this canvas here and drag it into your prefab folder so you have a health bar canvas and then take your red monster and go to monsters and replace the red monster in here with the one with the health bar and then we just add all three monsters to the scene here and the easiest thing would be just to duplicate the health bar canvas and put it under each of them just keep duplicating it and put it under duplicate and put it under here there we go so if we delete the red monster and we take and move the purple monster out here I think I'm pretty happy with the health bar placement so we just delete, we just take the purple monster and drag it into prefab then we tap the green monster I think the health bar is a little too close so I'm going to move it up a little a little to the side then I'm going to take the green monster and put it in here and the blue monster well maybe the health bar is a little too high yeah there we go and then I'm going to take the blue monster and move it down here but again you can adjust it as you want so if we do like this now and play the game then the monsters that spawns should have a health here and we haven't set the health yet so it just disappears because it has zero health from the get-go right so we need to do something about that in the next video but for now all our monsters has a health bar that follows them around 
So that's basically what we are going we were going to do in this video. Um, so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to follow me on social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it. Also, thank you very much for everyone who is uh, supporting me uh, on Patreon and by getting my products. Um, you can support me by clicking the top link to support me on Patreon and you will get every single project that I've created um, if you go there. And you can also support me by clicking the bottom link to get uh, this standalone product or any of my other projects. So thank you very much for watching.